Our international team's arrival was greeted by warm and friendly Malaysian hospitality. Many were impressed with the country's beauty the moment they landed in Kuala Lumpur. For many of our paintballers, this is their first time to Malaysia. And imagine playing at the inaugural Nation Cup, what a privilege. We managed to get a few words from the Chief of Referee, Russell Smith. Since 1993, uh, I've actually been doing the rules in the UK. Other people as well, but mine have all seemed to be taken on board. Uh, I'm also in charge of most of the events in the UK. to the Nation Cup 2004. It's all happening here at the Action Paintball Sunway Extreme Park. There are 11 countries participating in the Nation Cup and there'll be 12 teams representing our country, Malaysia. Other teams from the Philippines, Japan, Indonesia, Korea, Singapore, New Zealand, the UK, the US and Australia. And we'll wait to watch how these players put their skills to the limit. Safety is one of the most important aspects in this game. Players wear full protective masks as well as goggles and full attire. They shoot using what's called E-marker and the palette consists of gelatin capsules filled with coloured liquid. The game plan is simple. Two teams will go up against each other and they can utilise these air bunkers to hide. They'll try to eliminate the opposition by hitting them with paintballs and try to grab the flag. Um, well, we've been playing paintball for a long time now. I've been playing for about eight years, and um, our team is a very tight-knit team. We're all best friends, and uh, we actually all used to live together, and we all started together. So, you know, we've just come up together, and, um, you know, we work real hard, and we love it a lot. And, uh, you know, that's what it really comes down to is heart. As far as strategy goes, Probably the most important thing is just to be to be real aggressive and uh, teamwork, communication is is a real big factor in in playing because if you don't know what's going on on the rest of the field, then you can't do your job effectively. The excitement is already starting to build up. For players and crew, everyone is gearing up for the first ever international tourney in Malaysia. We hope that you know through this uh, this game. It will help to actually uh, uh, make it more, more well known and to show people that it's actually safe, you know, and uh, it's a fantastic game. After a good night's rest, our players are up and early the next morning to face the real action. At the players' area, everyone is busy preparing for the tourney. Cleaning, assembling, checking, you really have to make sure that every detail is looked at. Looking at the markers and palettes, one might get a little nervous. However, paintball is a very safe sport as long as players obey the rules. Insurance statistics have shown that paintball is safer than jogging, tennis, swimming, even golf. Referees on the field enforce safety and game rules. No physical contact is permitted in the game and players will be disqualified for breaking safety or playing rules. What most find true is that once you start playing this game, you'll find it really difficult to stop. This high adrenaline game requires one to think, strategize and work together as a team. For many of these teams, winning is half the fun. The other half comes from playing the game. For the uninitiated, paintball originated back in the 1970s when it was used as a tool for marking trees and livestock. In 1981, 12 friends played the first recreational paintball game and since then the evolution of the game took place fairly quickly. Well, before we move on, why don't we take a look at the opening ceremony. 
All players were high in spirit and enthusiasm. They all may speak different languages and come from different cultures, but one thing for sure, they share the same interest and passion for paintball. Now to Inchek Haji Lahuri, who so warmly welcome our guests. International Dance Sport Championship in September. Though he is a new games promoter here, I believe it will be gradually and steadily progress in covering his need as an important event in Selangor in years to come. <laughs> the organizers have to be commended for putting together this competition and bringing different teams from around the world. Not to mention the world champion, Team Dynasty, from the US. Our local teams, which comprise of almost 12 teams, had the opportunity to play with some of the world's best players. All participating teams were presented with souvenirs as a token of appreciation. Success comes from a combination of quick thinking, good hand-eye coordination, strategy and of course teamwork. The champion of the Nation Cup will walk away with 5,000 ringgit cash and a trophy. And this is indeed an exciting tournament. It's said to be one of the best 20 in Asia. It also marks the launch of the Malaysian Pinball Operator Circuit in 2005. Now back at the players' area, just before the start of the tournament. Laid before you are all the necessary equipment for the game. Some die-hard fans spend a fortune to obtain the best and latest paraphernalia. However, to ensure fairness and equality, our game officials will have to approve the items and ensure that they comply with tournament standards. Our primary goal when we came over was to help pull the organisers to really help promote paintball. Um, obviously, we'd like to do well in the tournament as well, but we're here to, to find out about paintball in Malaysia and take that back to the UK and to tell the press in the UK about what you're doing here. Boy or girl, it's a sport for all. Some would gawk if they knew that some of these players are way past their 40s and still competing. Well, stamina does play a part, but more importantly, it's all about enjoyment. Equipment and uh, maintenance, equipment maintenance is very important. It plays at least, to my opinion, at least 60% of the team's success. The rest is all about skills and communication and the strategies. For example here, let me show you something. This is an e-marker to play, to play uh, matches against foreign teams. We definitely have to use e-markers with a spe special hopper here. This is an electronic hopper where it can inject as many as 20 to 25 paintballs per second and equipped with electronic trigger system. Most of the markers we use in Malaysia, it is only semi-automatic. Okay, go Delta, go! done a few exercises to increase our fitness and all and we've watched a few videos as well to see different tactics from different teams especially ones from American teams. Well, our preparation I think me and my team like, uh, have been practicing quite a lot before we came here and uh, we believe that if we practicing hard I think we can make some uh, good things. is fantastic, especially when we got the chance to be the first Malaysian team to play against Team Dynasty. Team Dynasty is one of the world's best team right now. And uh, it's an honor to play with them. Uh, they've shown us great pointers, how to improve on this game. This game is just introduced in Malaysia and I strongly feel that Malaysians can improve and excel. We'll be right back. Welcome back, you're watching Nation Cup 2004.
And now I hand over to our commentators, Davos and Top Gun. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. This is the very first quarterfinal match between Team Tsunami versus Team Cobra. And we have game on now. Team Tsunami, three guys at the main pillar. Mike currently at the snake right now, shooting down tape. Leon, moving up to the X. Yes, Brian, Guppy and Leon continue shooting from the tower. We have a shot out there by Team Cobra. Leon's coming at the X. Leon has a flag. There is still one more play on the field right now by Team Cobra. I think it's going to be a short game, Davos. The firefight's still on. And Tsunami has the flag hang. Marshall is giving a pin check. And it's confirmed, Game Tsunami, the first team to qualify for semi-finals on this uh, Nation Cup 2004. That was a really fast game. Second match for qu this quarterfinals is between Team Manawave from UITM Malaysia versus Team Kiwi. Team Kiwi is my favourite team. They have been a great ambassador for paintball for this Nation Cup. We're waiting for Game On right now. Game on! Team Mano Wave at the break, two at the main cube, one at the stand down, one at the stand up. Team Kiwi moving out there. Brandon, Martin, Pete. Brandon's down on the, on the stand down. Shooting down lane. Kiwi is making a move now. There's one player at the X, right in the middle of the field. It looks like Brandon's at the X. He's eyeing for the flag. He got it, and he has to move at least two meters to get 25 points. And look at that move by oh. T Manawe. That was a very, Abdullah. very brave move. Look at that. That was Abdullah from uh, Manawe. He got two in a row. Fantastic move. These young teams really know how to do it. We have to see what happened to the rest of the Kiwi team. Bear in mind, the game is not over yet. There is no flag hang. He's looking for the flag. They're still having fun out there. <laughs> Young kids, <laughs> what do you expect? And they have the flag now, and Team ITM hangs the flag. By the way, wins the game against Kiwi. A really, really big upset for Team Kiwi. Yes, yeah, second team, and this time from Malaysia, qualify for the, for the semi-finals. Well done, Malaysia. I still can't believe it. The boss? I can't. Run away from UITM beat Team Kiwi. I am really surprised. I mean, um, Team Mana Wave, uh, is, is, this, is the, this is one of the biggest tournaments that they've ever entered and they have really done well. The third quarter final match is between Team XPP versus Team Delta Angels. Delta Angels are currently wearing the yellow severe jerseys and Team XPP is wearing the JT jerseys. Team XPP is a combination from players, players from Japan, Guam and the Philippines. Ready and they will start any moment now. Here we go, SPP making the break with Victor, Brandon and Richter stay behind covering the rest of the team. Delta playing a tight game. Looks like XPP is fast on the move. Edgar's Edgar. just made up the snake. Yes, that's Edgar. Shooting cross field right now. We have Kit at the Dorito. Another tag for SPP over there. Ajit taking lots of shots there. Kit has moved up to the end. Looks hey. like it's going to be game SPP. He's making a clean sweep. And he got the flag. And the rest is uh, formality. Marshall go for the pen check. And game XPP. They threw to the semi-finals. Well done, XPP. And next game is between Team X Fox from Malaysia versus Team Demons from Malaysia. X Fox, formerly known as Team Desert Fox, the champions of two local tuni in Malaysia. They're going to play against Demons. 
Both teams are from Asian Pembal, Malaysia. And one team only can go to the semi-finals. Game on. Team Demons are fast to the bunkers. Two at the main pillars, shooting down lanes. And we have Team X Fox there, spread it out well. JT from Team Demons. Looks like Team Demons are having control of the game. Yeah, they both maintain at the 25 line. Oh, one player is out from Xbox. Right now, Andrew is moving out the snake. Oh, beautiful move there by Andrew. As you can see, that this game requires good communication skills. And it's three players against two. Time is running up for Xbox. They have to move forward. Andrew's still pinned down at the snake. He can't move up. Team Demons are really shooting down the tape very well, keeping him down. You're right, Top Gun. The game is, um, is, is taking too long. I mean, Team Xbox has got to go and grab the flag to yeah. win. Obviously, right now, we can see that Team Demons will continue to defend. And it's game over. Game over. Looks like it's going to be a head count there. Nobody got a flag. Yes, we have to check it out first. The balls. We're waiting for the marshals to confirm how many team players were left on the field from both sides of the team. From the way things are, Team Demons have won the game. Yes, the flag is still there, the boss. So Demons through to the semi-finals based on hit count. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Nation Cup 2004. Four teams made it to the semi-finals. Team Tsunami, XPP, Wave, and Team Demons. Right now, if the first of the semi-finals, again, on a knockout basis, it's a match between Team Tsunami versus Team Demons. You gotta love Team Demons. They really know how to put on a show. Um, you see that beautiful goggles on one of the Demons player? I think it looks like a tiger there. Yes, I believe that's either Afei or Akyong. And they're filling out strategies. I mean, this is gonna be a beautiful game. It's gonna be a true great game between firepower and also agility. Yes. I guess we believe that Team Demons have a better speed and agility. It's UK versus Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for the countdown. Game on! Yes, Team Tsunami on the breakout with Brian Guppy and Leon still maintained at the back, shooting from the tower. Guppy's moved up to the down cylinder. Taking it at the field. It seems that Guppy's having problems with the marker. It's yet to confirm. Yeah, I think the marker's jam. That would be not good for Team Tsunami. They need all the guns right now in this game. Still yep. not okay, the boss? Yep. Pellets are just falling off her marker. She better get that fixed. Terry's down at the stand down. Looking left and looking right. Demons moving out on the left. This is a tight game. Terry is out. And the Tiger's on the move. Mike's on the tape. He's down in the snake. Yes, he moved up front to clear the area. And Guppy retrieved the flag. 
She's gonna do the flag hang. She's a bit limping, I wonder why. And looks like it's a clean flag hang for Team Tsunami. Team Tsunami won this game. And it's to the final of Nation Cup 2004, Davos. That would be fantastic. Second semi final match is between Team XPP from Guam, Japan, and Philippines versus Team Manawe from UITM, Malaysia. Our local homeboys might do us proud in this game. Waiting for the game on signal from the ref. Maybe Team Manawe can collect another big scalp here. Well, they have done a fantastic move against Kiwi. We don't know what they will be able to do against XPP. Yes, on the breakout, XPP, Victor, Brandon and Richter stay at the tower covering for the rest of the gang. Team Manawe are basically... Oh, look at that. One of them are out right now. He's down to 4 to 5. Okay. 4 against 5 right now. Well, Dabos, I can easily say that XPP is the most aggressive team in this tournament. They are. They have to be. They are well trained by Team Dynasty and they also have good firepower. Most of them are using all the top line markers today. Team Mana Wave seems to be in trouble. They are not moving up and they are not shooting as many paints as they should be. Yes, they always stick to the same game plan with two players at the center double cube. They've got to change the game plan to win the game. Yes, Team Mana Wave still play defensively. Edgar. Edgar, yeah, that's right. Edgar just moved to the snake. And I can see Kit move forward to the X bunker. And that's joined by Victor from the back covering the area. There's Edgar under heavy fire. And that's Brandon. Made it all the way across the 75 mark. And XPP has the flag and they won the game. Looks like XPP will be meeting Team Tsunami in the finals. The final game will be a best of three format. The next game that we're going to see is a match between Team Mana Wave versus Team Demons, both teams from Malaysia. This is to decide the third and fourth placing. They're both a young team, the boss. You think so? Yes, they are. I've got a chance to play with both of them before and it's really exciting to watch. Yeah, me too. Waiting for the game to start. Team Mana Wave in the colorful jerseys and Team Demons in the red and black JT jerseys. And they're off. Team Mana Wave is the still the same strategy to Alec Bain Q. Team Demons moving up now. Surprisingly, uh, Team Demon still opt for the defensive lineup against Mana Wave. I would reckon both teams will try to play defense right now. But anyway, one sneak up to the snake. And he's claiming for a pain check. Mana Wave player claiming for a pain check on the Demons. And yeah, he's out. Looks like JT from Team Demons has been taken out from the game. Game score right now is 5 to 4. It's gonna be a tight game, the boss. It will be. Oh, he's gone out of bounds. Oh, what a waste, and he's out. Bad move by Chin there. Game's taking to the side of Team Demons, and we have a marker jam there. Terry is shouting for pain check. Moving up the snake now, Terry. Looking good, Terry. Yeah, 
He continued to move to the 75 line. Looks like Team Demon has managed to eliminate all the Manawave team players. Team Demons has a flag. And Team Demon won the game. Third place goes to Team Demons, the best performing local team in this tournament. Congratulations, Team Demons. You guys deserve it. We'll be right back.